Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing with you five delicious healthy salad dressings that can also double as sauces and marinades. You're gonna love all of these, they are so delicious. So the first one we're making is my green goddess dressing. This is probably one of my top favorite dressings and let's go ahead and make it. So you're gonna start off with an avocado. Avocado has great healthy fats. It makes this dressing green as well, and it's gonna help keep you full. So you're gonna need a whole avocado, and don't worry if it's not perfectly ripe because we are gonna blend it. So if your avocado's on the harder side, that's okay. I'm adding in a clove of garlic as well as a squeeze of lemon. The lemon also really helps to keep the color of the dressing so that it doesn't turn brown or anything. I'm adding in half a cup of green onion as well as some water and some basil. And the fresh herbs in this, you're gonna love it because it's such a good thing for summer and for spring. I'm adding in some olive oil as well as a pinch of Himalayan salt. And then I'm using my immersion blender. You can use a food processor or blender or whatever you have in your kitchen that you think would blend this up nice and smooth. But as you can see, you get a great green vibrant color. I store it in a mason jar in the fridge and it's good to use for a couple weeks, either on salads, on vegetables or anything else. Next up is my signature lemon tahini dressing. So this is everything you're gonna need. This is a definitely one of the more simpler ones and something I use as a sauce on just about anything. So I'm using some garlic as well as a quarter cup of tahini. And tahini, for those of you who don't know, is actually sesame seed paste. I'm adding in a squeeze of lemon as well as a pinch of Himalayan salt and then we're just going to blend that up. And I did add some water as well so you get this nice smooth creamy sauce. And I use this on grilled vegetables, meats, salads, on so, so many different things. Next up, we are going to be making an almond butter lime dressing. So this one has a little bit more of an Asian flair to it, and this is everything you're gonna need. So I'm adding in some garlic and some fresh ginger, but you can also use ground ginger, some almond butter, as well as some coconut aminos, which is a great alternative for your traditional soy sauce. Adding in some water, as well as the juice of half of a lime, and then we're going to blend that together. So as you guys can see, a lot of these dressings are really easy to make. You just blend them up and pour them into your mason jar, and you can store them into the fridge for all of your needs. This one would especially be good with proteins too, with like chicken or tofu or any kind of stir fry vegetables. Next up, we're making a really simple kind of house vinaigrette. you kind of your staple salad dressing. So I'm using olive oil, apple cider vinegar, a little bit of garlic, as well as a pinch of Himalayan salt and some freshly ground pepper. And you can do the pepper to taste depending on how you like it. Blend it up with your immersion blender and this one is super easy. You store it in the fridge, in the mason jar, give it a quick little shake when you're gonna put it over your salad and this is a great like staple dressing to keep in your fridge kind of at all times for when you need something really quick and simple and that will go with everything. And lastly, I'm showing you guys a simple plant-based Caesar sauce. So I'm using some hemp seeds, which are loaded with omega-3s and healthy fats, adding in some water, which is just gonna help thin it, garlic, Himalayan salt, again, you guys can see a trend, some freshly ground pepper, and you guys can do that to taste, as well as a squeeze of lemon. And this one is so delicious. If you wanna add some anchovy paste to this, you can. I decided to keep it out to keep it nice and plant-based. Again, store it in your mason jar, and this makes a wonderful dressing as well. One of my classics and my favorites. All of them are so delicious, and like I said, can be used as salad dressings, but also as sauces and marinades. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you make some of these dressings and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.